So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which we're going to take a look at the interesting and interesting operator called unwind in um, MongoDB aggregation framework, obviously. So what we are looking at here is that we all have this little data set with us. And what the unwind operator would do is that it will take in an array, for example, just like languages, it will take in an array of, of any document and we'll split it into individual documents with each element being a different um, document, right? So what I'm talking about, let's see. I'm gonna comment this out here and I'm gonna say, I want to unwind and what do I want to unwind it on is the field called languages, right? Go ahead and run this and you can see now I have 24 documents here instead of just the five documents I had. So my first document becomes username mayhole language C. My second is username mayhole language C++. My third document mayhole Java. My fourth document mayhole JavaScript, Python, Alex C, Alex C++. And you can see that how it relates with the find command we had earlier. So mayhole actually had languages C, C++, Java, Python, and JavaScript. But after running the aggregation command of unwind, I had this as the individual fields, C, C++, Java, Python, and JavaScript. So now what I can do is I can work on these documents in a certain way. For example, I can just get the documents whose languages start with C. So I'm gonna say, as the second operator, I'm gonna say, I want to match all the languages I want to match all the languages where it starts with C, right? So that's how you're going to do it, hopefully, right? So if I go ahead and run this, you're going to see we only get the documents in which the language starts with C, right? So it's either C or C++. Now, what I want to do is maybe I just want to combine all this data back right so that i can get it in this in this form so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to make use of the crop pipeline operator and obviously this would be another operator so here we are so i'm going to read crop and the bonus marks for someone who can tell me what should go in the id now just take a minute and see if you can guess what should go in the id write it down in the comments and let me know and i'll just answer that so yeah just pause the video because i'm just gonna go ahead and answer it so the answer is basically you have to write the username field here right because you want to group all the documents having similar username as a single document right because that is how we want it to um you know to appear so once we do that what we want is we want the languages as well now mongodb does not know that what it has to do with these individual languages but we do we know that these languages were an array before and should be an array again so what we want is we want another mongodb operator here so i'm going to say the new field as um, favorite languages because why not and i want to push languages here all right, so what's going on here? Let's just take a moment to understand what's happening here. And uh, I'm just gonna make some space for us. And there we go. So what we do, actually, let me just run this so that we have a nice little result as well. And yep, looks like we have some error of some sort. Okay, we are missing a comma here. There we go. So now if I run this, we have the following things, right? So we see, now we have the document with id as the you know the username and the favorite language is consisting of either c or c plus plus right so what's going on here let's just go uh, one by one we have these many documents to begin with right we unwind it by languages then we get something like this which splits it into individual languages for each record we have all the other fields as same except for the array which consists of um, different fields for every single record right i unwind it by this so we get a lot of documents then i match it by languages 
So I only want to get the languages which start with C or C++. Actually, I should have shown uh, this for the unwind. So we have all these languages. Then for the match part, I restricted to the documents which only contains C as the starting language. And then finally, I group them back by actually having the username as the ID field and the favorite languages, how it is constructed by pushing the languages from this match, right? So for each document that is grouped, for example, this document and this document, when they are grouped together, what happens to languages is they are pushed into an, a new array called favorite language. So this is how it works. So I hope it makes sense how unwind works in the pipeline operator chain and how all of these are really used together in this example. I hope this makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.